Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here. And uh, in today's video, I am going to uh, show you guys how to uh, load in XREFs into an FGA project. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, do a little site survey here at my house. Um, and then I'm going to bring in some data from previous project and um, as an external reference and show you the process on how to do that and kind of what it looks like when you do do that. It's actually kind of cold today and a little bit rainy, but I've never been just a fair weather surveyor and the show must go on. So uh, I'm going to get to it. Okay, so I just spent uh, a half an hour or so just um, picking up some of the features on our property here. Um, so now I'm going to basically bring in the property line that I surveyed um, in a different project uh, a few months ago and bring that in as an external reference in my current project um, to kind of see how everything I surveyed today kind of falls into uh, where the property line is. Okay, so here's my project with some of the uh, different features I picked up. I've got the buildings, the driveways, uh, the tree line, the edge of asphalt. Uh, so I want to hit on this button on the pullout panel and then onto this button with the square brackets on the bottom left hand corner here and this is going to open up the available options. Okay, so you can see that we have the uh, options of adding a DXF, a surface file, or a point file um, in as an external reference. So when you click on the different options, if you hit browse, you can look to see uh, which have been already uploaded onto your data collector. And you also have the option to, if you have your Google Drive connected, to uh, grab something directly from your Google Drive. Um, I'm going to go under projects and select Glasgow Ave. That is the previous job that I had surveyed in the property lines on. And now we can see that the property lines have been brought into this project and they are differentiated by a kind of a grayed outline. Okay, so one of the awesome things about Field Genius for Android is not only are you able to bring in an external reference into your data collector um, as a visual reference, you're able to add points and lines from the XREF directly into your current project. So in this project, if I wanted to add those property lines in here without having to go and find my property pins again, I can just click on it and hit add to project. So once the features are brought from the XREF into your current project, they no longer appear grayed out. They come in in black, just like the rest of your points and lines. The XREF tool is so useful, not only being able to have a visual representation that you can reference as you survey, but being able to pick and choose the different elements and bring them into your project um, as stakeable and surveyable items is, uh, you know, just on the next level of being useful. So. If you'd like to try out Field Genius for Android for yourself, you can request a demo from the microsurvey website. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out. Thank you so much for tuning in and happy surveying.